and flow Celebration that started already on round four Yo, yo, I show you the vision that niggas can't show For show, I paint a perfect picture like a Van Gogh What? <laughs> VIP ran rope, but still grimy like a city where many can't go uh, These finest of drinks and many paid folk can't go I to a spot when any can't flow what? Pay right, stay right with the flow I hate you niggas need to get a life like the clothes So, of course we supply uh, The fire that a bang, you would think it was the 4th of July That's why in the What up world? It's your boy Strong Arm. We're here from Open University 90.5 KSJS. Chilling with the one and only Black Milk. Just got done killing the show here at SF. Yeah, my bad. First question I have for you is uh, you're pretty much established as a super producer of hip hop nowadays. Uh, he got and, uh, Sorry. But, uh, you are. If there is something like that, you are. And uh, also a very relevant solo artist. How do you balance the production side of your uh, talent? I just, I just do it how it comes to me. I just, I just kind of record the music how it comes to me, depending on the project, depending on my mood, depending on how I want to progress forward. You know what I'm saying? It just all just depends on where I'm at that year and that time. You know what I'm saying? If I want to be straight on some progressive shit or straight on some, you know, on my production, then that's what I do. If I want to switch it up. Feel like recording and doing my own solo stuff. That's what I do. So it just depends, man. So yeah, right now I'm focused on touring. You know what I'm saying? Just exposing as many people as I can to my live show. You know what I'm saying? So me and the band and that turn we out on the road and uh, doing this month long tour, clap and slap tour. Toward the end of 2010, you had a very critically acclaimed album, Album of the Year. How was it coming uh, off of that solo project? And, uh, that's your latest solo project. How do you feel about the reception of seeing uh, the album of the year? That one got the biggest response out of uh, the two previous albums, you know what I'm saying, Pop with the Little Trying. But uh, yeah, it was good, man. It was just different, you know, like I say, it was more of a live element to the music, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was still out with the band, you know. The album was a little more personal than my other previous projects, so I was able to relate to some of the stuff I was talking about on that album. You know if you ain't ready for what you in it for, fuck the world, flan, whirlwind, we reppin' the moat, bro. In the back, gotta keep it on the low, bro. We bringin' it if you niggas keep bringin' the dope, bro. Gotta go, my nigga, we gotta go, go, go. Gotta go, my nigga, we gotta go, go, go. Gotta go, 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 yeah. Uh, tell them all, settle down. We bringin' the real whack, niggas not allowed. So Detroit, like, gon' be loud. So Detroit, like seven miles, so what up, though? Yo, we trying to get it, then get out, getting much, though. Then bringing it to the hood crowd, like, what up, yo? yo. You ain't never seen shit, London boutique fit You ain't never seen this, what you mean? I call my regime, yeah my team is At wherever the green's at, yeah I mean this Shots rang to the chest, ain't breathing Breath just left the soul while slowly leaving Can't leave them out, yeah I'm still here Feeling better than ever, why they still cheer? Uh, after that, you kinda took a break from solo projects And had some beastie collaboration projects Among them was the Random Acts album Which a lot of people were waiting on Shout out to Sean P and Guilty Sue which leads me to the next question. How was it like working with uh, veteran MCs like Sean Price, Delta Skelta, and Guilty? It was dope, man, because Sean P already, I was, I've was been a fan of his since, you know, when I first started, you know, getting into you know, music, yeah, it, was already, it was easy to like just get in the lab and work with him. That's he like one of my top five favorite MCs right now. So in Guilty Something, that's fam, you know, that's at the crib, right, Detroit City, so that was that's easy too. So we all, all three of us, we just had a good chemistry in the studio, you know what I'm saying? And um, we just knocked out some songs. Sean P flew to Detroit for a couple weeks and just laid down a lot of verses. I did the production and there you have it, Random Max, and we put it out. You know what I'm saying? It, it, took, it took a little bit of time because we was working on all the solo projects also. So 
but we'll be around the max too, so yeah. That's what's up, dude. Y'all heard it. Uh, on that album, y'all had Danny Brown on the set, on the song uh, Jaffy Joe. Yeah, Jaffy Joe. Jaffy yeah, Joe, yeah. yeah. And uh, the album came out later, late yeah. last year, with you and Dan. You yeah. on the production, man. Yeah. Danny Brown on the spin. Right, right. Black and Brown. Yeah, so uh, how did that come about? I mean, this is dope, Danny. Danny's doing his thing right now. He's getting his buzz is crazy. You know what I'm saying? He, his, his fan base is just growing and growing every day. It's dope to see another Detroit artist, especially as fresh as Danny Brown, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's, that's bringing a whole nother element to the hip-hop game that nobody is seeing right now, from his image, from his way he rap rhymes, from his flow, to his product, the way he pick beats, you know, all that shit. So, you know, Danny's just an individual dope dude that's in his own lane right now, you know. But, like, yeah, like you said, we got a chance to uh, get in the lab and knock out Black and Brown. You know, that was just something we did for the fans, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we had did a song called Black and Brown album of the year. It was like, you know, I was like, let's take it a step further. The last question I have for you is, uh, we hear it in your lyrics and being from the same city, uh, how does uh, Jay Dilla's legacy influence you as a musician? I mean, you know, that's, I wouldn't even probably be right here if it wasn't for Dilla, you know what I'm saying? That cat got me into wanting to do music, doing production and all that, you know, so I'm doing all the cats. So. But yeah, man, it's, you know, the biggest thing I take from him is just trying to stay consistent, you know, with putting out dope shit all the, all the time, you know what I'm saying? That was it. His catalog is damn near flawed, so that's what I'm trying to do, just put out dope stuff and just timeless music that's going to be around for 10, 15, 20 years from now, so yeah, that's the biggest thing I took from him. Definitely, man. Yeah. So. Y'all heard it. KSJS, Open You, signing out now. One and only Black Milk. Wardrobe, uh, words of Dilla, his verse is illa, the worst I kill her, ain't heard nothing, it's legendary, I'll since the birth of Thriller, my human nature to expose team scenes, these rapping niggas are girls, pre-teen, Billie Jean, seems, they love when I'm performing, they laugh at your performance, my shit is Martin Luther, your shit is Martin Lawrence, touring on a plane and somewhere in the world, new, in the clouds, listening to Stevie Wonder's Girl Blue, so true, dude is feeling confident and feeling taller, I'm feeling on top of the world without the fear of falling